Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to look at the section of our art. So, what's the expectation of the examiner? A student is expected to be able to open the animal, display, draw, and label the system required in the question. Marking points are ability to interpret the question correctly. Even if a student dissects but does not display what the question requires, it does not get any marks. Ability to display the required system and then the ability to draw and label accurate representational diagram. When we draw the correct representation diagram, it means that we have displayed the required system. It also means that we have interpreted the question correctly. We ought to draw what we have displayed, not what we think should be the drawing. Even if you know the drawing of the system required, it is advisable that you dissect so that you can get the accurate representation drawing of the dissection. Because sometimes they may limit you to what structures to label. If you include any other structure which is not asked in the question, you will be penalized for that one. Drawings. A drawing should have a title describing what you are drawing. It should be neat. It should have a complete outline. A complete outline. You don't want broken lines. A drawing should have a magnification. A magnification is the number of times a drawing is as big as the specimen. Magnification is equal to the size of the drawing over the size of the specimen. A drawing is to be proportional. Parts of the specimen drawn to relative sizes. For instance, when you are doing this head and you put these eyes, these eyes are too big compared to the head. Proportional eyes can be drawn like this. So these eyes are proportional in the head. Then the drawing should be well labeled with labeling lines that do not cross one another. So we don't expect to label I again you label nose when you are labeling labeling lines do not cross one another so we expect you to label I and then nose we don't want labeling line to cross one another classification before you classify the rat you note that when setting the taxa, spellings must be correct. Strong spellings are not marked. For example, the kingdom is animalia. When you write animal, this is wrong. So we need to correct spellings. Kingdom animalia, not kingdom animal. Two, when giving reasons to justify the taxa, observable futures are used. Kingdom animalia justification. It has a fit for locomotion. Animal move about to look for food and mates. Two, has a map for ectotrophic nutrition. This distinguishes it from plants 
that make their own food. And then three, it is a multicellular, distinguishing it from microorganisms like amoeba that are heterotrophic and move from one place to another. Phyla codata characteristics. It has a bark bone which can be ferret when you touch its bark. It has a skull or a brain case and the three it is bilaterally symmetric. We can cut it into a half only once. Kiras mammalia characteristics the body is covered with fur or hairs. Two has a pinna or external ear lobe. Three, a female may be identified from the male using external features, i.e., a scrotal sac and a penis in the male, a vaginal opening, and tits in the female. And if more than three characteristics are required, then you can see it has specialized teeth. This can be seen by opening the mouth. Otherwise, somebody may consider the teeth as internal structures. External features. Before we describe external features, we look at terms describing the topograph of the animal. Anterior, head side. Posterior, hind side. Ventral, front side. Dorsal, back side. Identifying the sex of a rat. A female rat has got nipples leading to mammary glands. A female rat has got a vaginal opening. A drawing showing structures that identifies the sex of a female rat. We label nipples, we label vaginal opening. A male rat is identified by a peripus covering the penis and two a scrotum covering the testis. A drawing showing the features for identifying a male rat we label peripus covering the penis then we label scrotum covering the testis. The head is pier shaped tapering anterior. This gives the animal a streamlined shape for easy movement. Extra features on the head include the pinna, eye, whisker, the nostril, and the mouth. Then a drawing A drawing of external future of a direct we label pinna, eye, whisker, nostril, and then you put a magnification times one. The mouth is ventral, we may not be able to see it when you look at the frontal part of the head. The ear, it is dorsolaterally located on the head to receive sound waves. Structure it is blood to collect sound waves and two it is less hair 
to increase the heat loss on a hot day. The eyes are used for sight. The adosolate are located on the head for a wide field of view. The whiskers, these are long stiff hairs on the lateral side of the head. They are sensitive to touch. They are long to sense distant object. The nostrils are comma shaped to allow air to and from the lungs. The nose has also got olfactory glands for the sense of smell. The mouth is located on the ventral side of the head for taking in food. It has teeth for cutting and grinding food. It has tongue for tasting food. It has saliva for softening food for easy swallowing. The limbs, what you have to notice is that the hind limb has got five digits. One, two, three, four, five. The fore limb has got four digits. One, two, three, four, five. The hind limb is a masichula, while the fore limb is less masichula compared to the hind limb. Then a drawing of the hind and the fore limb to the same magnification. We draw. Note that, to the same magnification, the hand limb is more muscular than the fore limb. The hand limb has got five digits, one, two, three, four, five. While the fore limb has got four digits, one, two, three, four. The fore foot has got four digits, one, two, three, four. Each digit has got digital pads and a crow. Then it has got interdigital pads and then foot pads. The pads increase friction during movement. A drawing of the other side of the four foot, the foot has got the foot has got four digits. Each digit carries a crow. Then on each digit there's digital pad. Between the digits there are interdigital pads. Then on the palm there are also palm pad. Then we put a magnification. This is a crow. This one is a digital. Pad. This is inter digital pad, and then we have the palm pad. So we label Kuro digital pad, inter digital pad, and then palm. The hind limb has got five digits, one, two, three, four, five. Each digit has got a crow and then a digital pad. Within the digits, they are interdigital pads and then we have four two pads. The crows are for scratching and burrowing. The pads cause friction during movement and also they reduce sound during movement such that the rat is not hard while walking. Drawing of the ventral side of the hind foot, we draw five digits. 
One, two, three, four, five. Each dict has got a crow. Each dict has got a pad. Between the digits we have interdigital pads, then we have the solo pad. So this is Kuro. This one is digital pad. This one are interdigital. Pad, then we have solo pad, then we put a magnification. So the vendor side of a four foot has got five digits. Each digit card is a crow, each digit card is a digital pad. Then between the digits we have interdigital pads. Also we have solo pads. The pads increase friction and also reduce sound when the rat is moving. The crows are used for defense to scratch the enemy and also they are used for digging the barrel. The digs are spread for stability. Structures for defense. Sometimes you may be required to mention structures for defense how those structures perform their function and how they adapt it to defense. Teeth, they are sharp and strong. This is the adaptation to bite the enemy. That's how they cut out their function. The crows are sharp and strong. That's the adaptation to scratch the enemy. That's how they cut out their function. The tail is a masicula and the long, that is an adaptation to beat the enemy. Sometimes when you measure the length of the tail to that of the body, you find that the tail is as long as the body to enable the tail to reach the hollow part of the body to chase away the enemy. They can also tell you to describe the structure of the tail structure of the tail and you see that it is a hairy, hairy increases sensitivity, it is scary to reduce water loss, it is a massive to inflict pain on, on the enemy. Mm -hmm. And also, you can see that it is long, some people say for stability. You may be required to give adaptation is of the rat to its ecology. Anything that allows the rat to live a successful life, can be given as an adaptation to its ecology. For example, it has fur for protection and also for insulation against cold environment. It has legs for locomotion. It has claws to scratch the enemy. It has teeth to bite and chew food. It has teeth to bite the enemy. It has eyes to see the enemy. It has nostrils to smell food and also to smell the presence of the enemy. It has ears to collect sound waves. Anything that allows the rat to live a successful life can be given as an adaptation to its ecology. Motima pegute terera, Motima pegute terera, Azali wava kungu, Motima pegute 
ya kuzi wa burundi Atambula burundi Wachiri wachiti yango nonsura na ye Nomotima kwange kwekusige Gatulia na ye Wenja kala Nomotima kwange kwekusige Owa muya kabutia Owa wuzi wubutia Ono tufa na ye Ono ya wasinga Wenja kala Nomotima kwange kwekusige Yono yono Wenja kala Nomotima kwange kwekusige Yeye yeye Wenja kala Nomotima kwange kwekusige Omotima kwekute terira Ula mkwebu tambulira Owa butitibutia Owa kwa kakutia Ono ndifa na ye Era ndiva na ye Walonji kwenonze Wenja kala Nomotima kwange kwekusige Walonji kwenfira Wenja kala Nomotima kwange kwekusige Walaka vumurunji Wenja kala